Hi, everybody, everyone. This is Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was talking away, and my camera went off. But anyways, it's been, it's been a whole year. Today is the last day of one complete year of making a video every single day. I gave myself that challenge December 1st of 2018, and now it is November... Or was it 18? Yeah. yeah, 2018, December 1st, 2018. So one complete year is to make a complete year would be November 30th, which is today, 2019. Tomorrow would start another year. So I have completed one year of making videos. Well, today I was um, kind of bored. Oh, I feel... My egg air. Oh, you know, when I was drinking my coffee, this but I have to tell you. <laughs> you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're you're really empty, your stomach is really empty. Well, every Saturday and Sunday, I bring coffee upstairs for us. And we sit and we either talk or today we read. I finished my book that I had been reading. I don't know how long I had been reading it. But I finally finished. I only had like less than a chapter to finish, and I finally finished it. But when I was drinking my coffee, I would swallow, wait a few seconds, and then you hear your tummy gurgle. So it must be your intestines are pushing it down. So then I'd take another swallow, wait a few seconds, and you'd hear the gurgle. So And I said to Jim, listen, I, my stomach is gurgling. And so I would drink a, another swallow, wait a few seconds, and then it would gurgle. And it was like, wow, this is pretty neat. And so if you don't drink real fast, just take one swallow, wait a few seconds, and listen, and you hear the gurgle. And that's what I did. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's, how, that's how excited my life is. Okay, then um, later on in the day, Jim was outside. I don't know what he was doing. I think he fixed the dog run because the ground is very soft and, and the my my run thing was drooping because the ground, the thing that was holding it into the ground was uh, coming out or something. I don't know. But anyways, he fixed that. And then while he was out doing that, I decided I would make boxes. I got a Christmas card the other day and I turned, it's from the car dealer. They send me, they send me a, they say time to buy another car. I just bought a car. I'm not buying another car. But anyways, I made a box. See, it's a box. And it's got um, to us, and then it's from Samantha from the car dealership, and I made a box, and I thought, well, this is kind of fun. So then I went and got a piece of paper to make a different box, because I wanted to see what it would be like to make a deeper box. And so that's what I did. And so that's what I like to do with, like, cards, if they're not written on too much. Like, this one wasn't written, very much wasn't written on it, because it's got just a little bit on the inside. And it's it's got and the front actually turned out really pretty darn good. Christmas came out pretty good. It, and Merry Christmas! It didn't cut much off of that. In fact, I don't think it cut any of it off because the C is it's there and the end is there. Okay. And I also got now I haven't done anything with this, but I got a card in the mail from Blue Bike and Doyle, and it says. <laughs> squirrel thing. Hey, this is funny. Okay. My nuts are frozen. <laughs> ah, okay. That's cute. Warm wishes in this holiday season. And he was looking for a chicken card, but I see this squirrel and thought it was a funny Merry Christmas from Blue Bike and Doyle. And he also gave me some stickers. My first stickers they're motorcycle um stickers or they're they're clear but i don't you know i don't have a sticker i would have to i'm going to put these on a board i think is how i'm going to do it you can get me a piece of that nice plexi ply or the clear that stuff that nice heavy the stuff acrylic. the acrylic yeah and i can put these on that put one of them on it and the other one i don't know where i'll put it but i may put them both on it but how the heck do you make these? I want to know how. How's everybody making their stickers? Um, 
because I don't have any. And I really would like to make some and then I could mail them out. And it's it's neat. It's got it's got the it's it's really neat. It's I got the this part peels like this, and this part peels like this. So it's clear. Look, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. I probably probably have to stick it onto something and then it would I don't want to ruin it. But anyways, how the heck do you make these? It's it's blue. It's actually blue. The the sticker is blue. I won't ruin it. I want to put it on the board. It's really neat. But thank you there, Blue Bike and Doyle. I will put his link. He's he's he drives a motorcycle and he takes you on tours. And he's from Georgia. And he and there's a lot of movies that have been made in his area and he tells about the different um movie spots that they've made them and it's it's really interesting and the other day he took a little train ride and um, it's just like the train that we'd go on when we'd go to the um, park in Pennsylvania mm. to I forgot what the name of the park Waldemere. Waldemere yeah they have that it's a train like that and when I went to Buffalo Zoo I rode on that train and the um, not the Buffalo Zoo it was maybe it was the Erie Zoo Erie. Yeah, I didn't go on the one in Buffalo. Buffalo didn't have one. Mm -hmm. The Erie Zoo had one, and I went on their train. And it was like that. It was a really nice little train um, ride that he took us on around. So that's it. And then t I had a um, request to see my closet. So Patty, she wanted to see my um, closet when I had mentioned that I was thinking of showing the closet. I will show you that today, and I will show you my dresser drawers. I wanted to do it on the day that I did my wash because I, my closet was really full. I don't even know if it starts with a P for her her channel name. I don't really don't know. I may have to cut something here. Life with Patty. That's what it is. <laughs> I betcha. I think I just thought of it. So let's go and see that closet. <laughs> I mentioned one day that I was going to show me, you my closet. Well, today is the day. I was going to do it on the day that I had just done my wash, but I will show you today. i got to turn the light on. All right. In my closet, because I have, I'm a shirt person, I put all of my shirts are on this rack that are red and long sleeve. Then I go short sleeve. And then if you notice, I have a lot of long sleeve ones. And then down below, I keep my um, spaghetti strap tops to put underneath other shirts sometimes. And then I have, of course, sweaters and jackets. And then, this is, this is well, this side. We'll go to this side. This is where I hang after I've worn something like this. I wore yesterday. I wore this and this yesterday. This is the this is my already wore side. I put everything back up on the hanger so that when I bring it down for the wash, it's on a hanger, and then I bring it back up on a hanger. And then Jim built me. I don't know if you can see this. He built me a shoe area underneath my um. When we opened up the stairway, we got a shoe area. And then this is his, where he hangs his clothes. He's got a lot of shirts too. And this is where he hangs what he's worn. He will put it on this side. So that's the closet. Now I'll show you my, my um, there's the closet. And I do put a few things on the floor. I do have a few shoe boxes. And um, the box in the back is my dirty clothes, that box. And I will show you my drawers. This is my dresser, and I will open my drawer. This is my underwear drawer. I, as you can see, this is how it looks all the time. I have my stockings on the one side and my underwear on the other side, and then those are just strange things in the back. And this is a laundry bag, like when we go, when we go um, on vacation. And this is my sock drawer. I have lots of socks. 
these are the socks that I've been wearing. I wear the longer ones, then I have the little bit shorter, and then of course in the summer I have the white and light. Then this drawer I never get into. This is just this is just odds and ends. It's just a lot of stuff that in case like when you have to um, like my slips are in the back. And there's extra stockings in here and there's fluffy socks. Then on the other side, I hardly ever get in this drawer either. This one's just got sweaters. I'm always cold, so I have a lot of sweaters in here. And this one is the same thing. This is a, this is a sweater drawer. Now, this is my only junk drawer. I do have a junk drawer. This is my junk drawer, what I consider my junk drawer. It's got my scarves and belts and... And years ago when they had the shoulder pads, I still have shoulder pads. Why, I don't know. I just have them. And then there's belts and, and like if you shave, save a shoelace, I, um, I save them. Why, I don't know. I just do. But that's what that is. That's just, that's my junk drawer. There you go, Patty. That's my closet. I um, have a lot of shirts. I, I like shirts. Pants, I wear the same kind. I have the, they're called Jeggins, and um, they're all pretty much the same. And I, I do have another closet I probably could have shown that is where I put my party stuff, the things that you wear only for like weddings or special parties. I have another closet that I hang those in because this way I can have the, the clothes full length, and this way they don't get wrinkled. And I will, I guess that's it for today. I know, it's kind of not much happening. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow, and it will be day one starting all over again. Bye.